In our last video, we explored a little bit about the creative side of adding blending modes to our layers. And this is kind of what we came up with. Now, where we left off was we took a look at basically this layout and we began adding layers and then blending those layers. To take it a step further, we can go in and we can manipulate these. Now in our next demo, we're going to look at the differences between destructive based editing and non-destructive editing. Pretty much everything that I do today will be destructive. It's not that it's wrong, it's just that we're going to alter the physical pixels of a layer destructively. Everything that we do today is going to be based around the image adjustments panel and all of these are going to be destructive adjustments so they're going to destroy the original pixels of each of these layers but you're going to see that it changes the way that it blends by changing the colors that we make these layers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these layers and I'm going to alter some of their colors through destructive adjustments and it'll change the way that they blend. The first one I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose this circle. So when I take this layer right here and I go up to image adjustments and go to something like hue saturation, I can begin to manipulate these and I can change its hue and whatnot. I'm going to actually check this colorize. You'll see that it changes the color. Turn these up, change the color of this and it changes the way that it's going to interact with the layers that are below it. Remember, this layer still has a screen blending mode. And if I think that's too intense, I can go in and I can control the opacity. I'm going to introduce this layer. Command U. Command U is the shortcut key for hue saturation. Again, this is a destructive adjustment. If I want to alter its hue, I can also colorize it. And I can start to take a look at how this is going to change the way that it interacts with the colors that are below it. Let's introduce this next one. Command U. I could also saturate it more. Kind of whatever I want to do with it. There's no right or wrong here. I'm just exploring. With this solid color layer, I could do the same thing that I just did with that, and I could change its color and change the way that it interacts. So again, there's a lot of ways that you can play around with this. There's a lot of different things that you can do. So by changing its color, you change the way that it blends. you could also do something like a levels adjustment command L or image adjustment levels and you can change how dark or how light a layer is and it will also change the way that it blends so a lot of things to explore a lot of things to play around with we'll be diving into some practical ways of using blending modes and adjustments uh, this semester, but this is just one one of those areas where you can really just drop in a bunch of layers and just start to blend and be as creative as you want to. And that's really what I want you to explore this week.